Today in our 2010 Toyota Matrix, we'll be having a look at the best trailer wiring options. Our first option here off to the right is the Takancha T1 vehicle wiring harness with a four pole flat trailer connector, part number 118460. Over here to the left, we have the Kurt T connector vehicle wiring harness, also with a four pole flat trailer connector, part number C56035. Now the biggest differences that we found between our wiring harness comes down to the power output that they produce. Our Kurt T connector wiring harness here puts out three amps of power for our stop and turn signal circuits with six amps total power for your tail light and running light circuits. Our Takancha wiring harness, on the other hand, that one puts out 2.1 amps for the stop and turn signal circuits and 4.2 amps for the tail light and running light circuits. So as you can see, our Kurt T connector puts out a little bit more power, which will be useful if you're towing a trailer, which has a lot of lights on it. Just something to keep in mind. Now the next biggest difference that we found that comes down to construction quality. We found that on the Takancha here, you can see how it has the silica gel in here, which seals up our wiring harness very nicely. Everything else is totally sealed up inside our module light box here, and this will protect it from the elements. Whereas if we look over at our Kurt, we can actually see a slight gap right here where the two pieces of plastic are molded together. And then our wires here where they go into the box, they're not protected by any silica sealant or anything like that. So there's a potential that moisture could get inside and damage the module box. Now both of our wiring harnesses are gonna accomplish the same end goal for us. They will give us the bare minimum lighting functions as required by law in order to tow a trailer. We're gonna get our tail lights, our turn signals, our brake lights, and our running lights off our four pole flat connector for both of these. Both of these wiring harnesses, they feature about the same length for our trailer harness here to where it goes to our module box. So we have an adequate length wire to run it outside the hatch of our vehicle in order to connect to our trailer. Both of our wiring harnesses are designed to store connectors inside the vehicle when they're not in use and to help protect our module boxes and converter boxes from the elements. Both of them are gonna install in the same manner using T connectors. They go in line with the vehicle's existing taillight wiring so there's no cutting or splicing required. The only thing we're going to run outside the vehicle on a permanent basis is our black power wire here, where we'll connect directly to our battery using a provided fuse holder with 10 amp fuses. Now both of these wiring harnesses are also going to come with everything you need to get the job done. You'll have your ring terminals, your fuse, your self-tapping screw, your butt connectors, and your wiring to make your connections, as well as some zip ties to help secure up your wiring along the way, and a self-adhesive double-sided tape pad to help secure your module box inside the vehicle. If we have a glance over at our matrix that we have here today, you can see about how long the wiring harness is. We have the Takancha one installed right now. You can tell it apart because the Takancha has a dust cover that's built on, whereas the Kurt, it clicks into place and slides over the wires. Not a big deal, they both have a dust cover. So if we open up our hatch, you can see how the wiring works when you're towing. You just drape it to the side here of your latch and close your hatch on down. When it's not in use, you could simply store it underneath your cargo lid by lifting up, dropping it down inside underneath your spare tire, closing back up and it's out of the way. Now in a brief summary here, as far as power output goes, we did find the Kurt wiring harness to be superior because it does have higher power output compared to our Takancha wiring harness. As far as construction quality goes, we found the Takancha to be a bit better buy here because of the fact that the module box is more sealed up than our Kurt box. It's all gonna be personal preference really. The wiring harnesses are going to do the exact same job for you. What, towing a trailer with a matrix, you're probably not gonna need that extra power output because you're not gonna have a trailer large enough to have a lot of lights on it. Just something to keep in mind though, if you have an older trailer that does have incandescent lights, they will draw more power than LEDs, so you may need this. 
And that completes our look at the best trailer wiring options for the Toyota Matrix. We hope you find this video helpful and informative in your trailer wiring. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.